through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Hey, first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The brother Shapar brought it out mighty in the spirit. We're going to keep rolling on with it, right? Let me get second edges uh, 14 and 13. Right, let me get second edges 14 and 13, right? Let me get second edges 5 and 1, right? So if you don't know who we are here for, we are here for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? To let you know that we are the real Jews and Israelites according to the Bible, right? Hey, what's going on, family? Hey, y'all got a minute for the words of God? Do y'all love God? Y'all love Jesus? Oh, you got to get to sleep. All right, now. What's going on, bro? You got a minute for the words of God? All right, man. You see that? <laughs> All right, let me get that uh, Second Ezra 5 and 1 real quick. Mm. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 5, verse 1. And it reads, Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come. The what? The day shall come. That they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. The Lord said the day shall come that those that dwell upon the earth gonna be taken in a great number. Right? So all you wicked ass niggas that want to walk past the service of the Lord, if you don't repent in these last days, you will be destroyed. Right. Right? All these wicked Negroes walking past talking about, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to church on Sunday. I'm gonna come back. Right, I'm 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 gonna see y'all tomorrow. You might not have tomorrow. Right. The Lord might put your ass to death tonight. Right? We ain't gonna be on these streets forever. If you're a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, and you have a chance to come get the words of the Lord, this might be your last chance. Right? The Most High God is sending the death angel all throughout the earth. People die through plagues. Right? People die for family. People get shot up in mass shootings. Right? Every other week, it's a damn mass shooting somewhere. Right. And they just passed a law in North Carolina where, where you, you don't even need a damn license to get a gun no more. Oh, it's going to be like the damn page out here. Right? You got all these people that got mental issues. Now they can go and get a gun without a, without a permit. Right. right? Let that sink in. Right? You got America shutting down all these mental uh, hospitals kicking these people out on the streets and now they're allowed to get weapons. Let that sink in. America shutting down all these, uh, you got mass numbers of police officers leaving the, leaving the force, right? What you think gonna happen on these streets, right? It's gonna be more mass shootings, right? It's gonna be more death and destruction. It's gonna be more famines, more pestilence, right? What's going on, family? Y'all got a minute for the words of God? Y'all love Jesus Christ? Y'all got two minutes? Three minutes? Four minutes? minutes. All right, now. All right, brother. You an Israelite. Y'all got to repeat keep the commandments, all right? all right? Right? People think this a game until they get, they get put to death, man. Right? Bullets ain't got names on it. Right? A famine ain't got name on it. Right? Our people got to repent and come back to the commandments. So read that again from the top. Con, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden. And the way, and the way of truth shall be hidden. The Lord said in these last days, the way of truth shall be hidden. Right? What is the truth? Right? We all know according to the book of Psalms, the Lord said his law is the truth. So the Most High God, laws are hidden in this wicked land. Don't nobody know how to come back and keep God's commandments. Right? Our people don't know their heritage. Our people don't know their nationality. Our people don't know their true purpose upon the face of the earth. Right? So read what you got. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, verse 13. 
Now therefore, set thine house in order. Do what? Set thine house in order. Hey, so it's time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to set your house in order. Right? We the only nation of people that don't have our people in order. Right? The so-called Arabs, they know their role. Right. The man knows his role and the woman know her role. Right. right? And that's why all these other nations flourish while our people are at the bottom. Bring it out. Right? All these other nations, they own their own businesses. They got their own neighborhoods. Right? They own their own corporations. In their neighborhoods, they have their own grocery stores. They got their own hospitals. They got their own police forces. Right. What do we have? Why are we the only nation that's living in the ghettos? Right. Why are we the only nation that's living in the projects? Yeah. Why are we the only nation that's getting shot down by the police? Yeah. Why are we the only nation that don't get no justice and no peace? Right. right? When you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans go wake up. Wake them up. Right? Read on. Set thine house in order. So we have to set our house in order. The only way to set your house in order is by coming back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. You so-called black Hispanic and Native American men have to stop being effeminate and man up. Right. Right. Keep these commandments. Right. Keep these high holy days. Uh. Right. Our women have to stop being masculine and repent and be virtuous women uh. and be modest. Right. And we gonna get into that. So read on. Let me get um. Let me get Proverbs thirty-one and verse ten. And we gonna get into it tonight, man. Cause our people are at a lower state, and we came out here to, to wake up the dry bones. Right? Read on. Set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Come for such as them. Read that again from the top. Set thine house in order and reprove thy people. And do what? And reprove thy people. Oh, let them be wicked. Reprove thy people. Let them do what they want to do. Reprove thy people. The Lord said we have to reprove our people. Right? What's going on? Are we black? What is a black Israelite? No, we not, we not we not black Israelites. Right. We are the Israelites. That's right. Yeah. Oh, oh man, you, oh you Jewish? <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that, man. Cause so you Jewish, right? So what does it mean to be Jewish? Okay. Okay, so what does it mean to be Jewish? Yeah, what is if I say look, if I say if I say look right now, I say you you acting kind of childish. Am I actually calling you a child? So what does that mean if I say you're childish? Acting like a child. So if you claim that you're Jewish, what does that mean? Uh, hold on, wait a minute. No, no, hold on. See that? You, you, see you. We not gonna do that. So if I say you childish and you said that means you're acting like a child, if you're Jewish, that means you're acting like a what? Like a child. 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 Let's look, hold on, let's, let's take it step by step. Okay. Well, if you're a child ish and you said out your own mouth, yeah. that means you're acting like a child. Yeah. So if you claim that you're Jew ish, that means you're acting like a what? Well, you're saying a Jew, acting like a Jew. You're act, that's right, you're acting like a Jew. Now say so does that mean you're a real Jew? Well, okay, maybe I'm not. Well, no, we, you know that you're not. You're definitely not. Okay. You're Jew ish, that means you converted to Judaism. Right. Right? So that's what you, you're part of a religion. You're not part of the, the ethnic background of the Jews. No, I, I identify as a Christian. Okay, well, who, are, who are the original Christians? The original Christians were the Jewish people. No, not the Jewish people. The Jews were the original Christians. Right. I got your, your original Christian well, what's right the message? Here. That's what I want what's to What's the message? Yeah, I want to hear it. Well, the thing is, the message is for the Israelites. Are you an Israelite? So the gospel is not for non Jewish people. All right, look, we're gonna go to the Bible and see what, what the Bible says. Let me get Matthew fifteen twenty four. Let me get the book of Amos chapter seven verse fifteen. Right, and when you get there, hold that and give me Acts five and thirty. I might have been blind this whole time, so I'm open to hearing the gospel. Okay, so let's read that. So who is this speaking in Matthew the fifteen chapter? I don't know. This is a red letter. So whenever you see red letters in the Bible, who is that speaking? Jesus uh, Christ, right? So read that. 
This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, Wait, what did Jesus Christ say? But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep. Unto the what? Unto the lost sheep. So Jesus Christ said out his own mouth, I am not sent only unto the lost sheep read, of the house of Israel, no, of all the Gentiles, of the house of Israel, every nation, of the house of Israel. So the Lord said out his own mouth, I am not sent only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right? So read what you got. Amos 7 and 15. The book of Amos, chapter 7, verse 15. Yeah. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto do what? Prophesy oh. unto my people. Unto all people. Unto, unto my, my people. people. Unto everybody on the earth. Unto my people. Oh, the Lord told all the prophets to go and prophesy to my people. Read. Prophesy unto my people, Israel. Who's God's people? Israel. Israel. This is for everybody. Israel. Israel. Oh, this message is only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go That's to right. that in Acts 5 and 30. So who did Jesus Christ die for? In his initial ministry, he went to the Jewish people, the Jews. Okay, so let's read that. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. It is with the God of our fathers raised up Jesus. So the God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Right? You know? Whom he slew and hanged on a tree. So who slew Jesus and hanged him on the tree? No, it was the Romans. Right. The Jews delivered him up to the Romans and the Romans crucified him. Right? We you don't. Know? Him hath God exalted with his right hand. <laughs> I got a preset. to save everybody. But let's see who, who Jesus is coming back to save, right? We don't. For to give repentance to Israel. To everybody. To, to Israel. Israel. All people. To Israel. Israel. The whole world. To, to Israel. Israel. All throughout this Bible, all throughout the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Lord is telling you that this message is only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Right. And, and what if I were to say uh -huh. that Jesus uh -huh. And then afterwards, he came and his salvation extended to all of you. Okay, let me get uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. So you said, what if you said that Jesus Christ originally preached to the Jews and then his message went to our people? Yeah. All right, let's read this and find out. Acts, uh, yeah, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21. Prove all things. Do what? Prove all things. What do we have to do? Prove all things. So up here, we have to prove all things. So we have to go precept upon precept to prove the things that's written in this Bible. Right. So you said Jesus Christ's original message was to the Jews, but then it went to all nations, right? So we have a Bible right here. You're free to look through this Bible and prove what you're saying. Can you do that? Wow. Is that a Bible that you got in your hand? Okay, well, you can read your Bible. Well, Go in the Bible and show me a scripture yeah. where Jesus preached to all nations. Well, it's in Romans. Oh, well, I want yeah. you to read it. We want you to, to read it. Man. Well, let's see what happens when I open it up. Okay. Yeah, go, go to, go. We want to see that uh, scripture in Romans. Yeah. Well, I mean, in a debate context, I mean, I'm not prepared. Well, it's not a debate. We're just bringing our scriptures. Having yeah. a conversation. Yeah, we're just having a conversation. Gone. Abraham was justified by faith mm -hmm. in his righteousness. Okay. Like 
Okay, what about that? What about that? What about the Egyptian? Well, hold on, hold on. I want to see that scripture. You, you, yeah, let's get that scripture. <laughs> you thought he was going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you trying to give a whole sermon out here. We want to see scriptures. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got. Come on, man. I, I thought you was Jewish, man. Don't you follow the Torah? Right. The Talmud? Right. To me, to not. To me, to not. We waiting on the we waiting on the scripture, man. If you Jewish, what tribe do you come from? But you can't be Jewish and come from the tribe of Reuben. Because Reuben is a northern kingdom <laughs> tribe. Right. And Jewish means you, you have to be from Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So if, if all the tribes were lost, how do you claim that you from the tribe of Reuben? <laughs> all right, man. We're, we're, we're still waiting on that scripture, man. Right? I just, I, I, well, let me ask the question about, this, about the God. Okay, well, look. We want to see that scripture when you said that Jesus Christ preached to all nations. I want to see that scripture in Romans. I, I don't have it. I don't have it by hand. Okay, you know, hold on. You know why you don't have it? Because it's not in the Bible. So we're going to show you what Christ told with the disciples in the Bible. Let me get Matthew 10 and 5. Okay, hold that. I got Luke. Mm -hmm. So is the gospel message not for all people? Well, we're going to go into the Bible and show you. Well, we, you we, have to. I just want to ask we, we have to because the Lord said, let God be true in every man alive. That's right. So I, you, don't, you don't need to hear nothing I got to say. I can be lying to you. Right. So, so we're going to go into the Bible. The Jewish tribe, uh -huh. and I cannot receive salvation. Well, let's read it. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. Bring it out. These 12, Jesus sent forth. So the Lord sent forth his disciples, right? Read on. Sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Hey, what did Christ say? Go not into the way of the Gentiles. I thought he was supposed to preach into the Gentiles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. I thought the message was for the Gentiles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Christ told the disciples, go not into the way of the Gentiles, but do what? And unto any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep. To the what? To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the what? Until the house of Israel. Jesus Christ said, go not into the way of the Gentiles, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So how do you explain that? Why did Jesus start his ministry in Samaria? Now I'm asking you, what does that scripture mean that we just brought up? He told the disciples, go not into the way of the Gentiles. Did not worship Jehovah God. They believed in pagan. Okay. And that was their way. Right. And that's why God told them to rebuke them in the Old Testament. Whether that's his <laughs> but wait a minute. This is the New Testament. Right. I'm just saying, Deuteronomy, God, God says, rebuke those that bring in pagan gods into your land. I got okay. So what does that mean? So does that does that scripture imply that Jesus Christ preached his message unto all nations? Yes, he did. Read that again. I, I don't <laughs> This the book of Matthew. Oh, no, you gotta okay, but like you said, you have to prove all things, but you have yet to show a scripture to prove it. What scripture can I go to where Jesus Christ preached unto all nations? I want to see that scripture. Read that again from the top. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and unto any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's plain and simple. He said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Well, what does it mean to go and make disciples of all nations? To go into every nation. Okay, but this is the thing. What scripture says that? What scripture says that? In the end of Matthew, go into but you gotta put look, you notice everything that we saying, we go precept upon precept, and we give you the exact chapter and the exact verse. So we need we need you to get the chapter and the verse. You're doing a lot of quoting, but we want to see the chapter and the verse. Right? You Jewish, so you're supposed to be God's chosen people. That's right. Right? You your people claim to be God's chosen people. So as God's chosen people, you have to show me God's words. Right? 
I got preset. All authority has been given to me. Hold on, where you at? Where you at? You... <laughs> yeah, we need you Matthew to quit. Okay, Matthew 28 and 18. Matthew 28 and 18. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Okay. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Okay. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded. Okay. You and lo, I am always with you, even till the end of the age. Amen. Okay. So explain what that means. Why did Christ tell them to go and make disciples of all nations? Why did he say that? Same reason why he told the disciples to go out two by two to every city. Okay, why did he tell them that? To bring the gospel message that the Messiah is here. Uh -huh. and he's here and, well, hold on, hold on. You said it to all nations. Why did he tell them to go into all nations? Do you know? To share the gospel. Okay, well, we, and to who? And to all nations. Okay, well, let's, let's get the context of that. Okay. Let me get James 1 and 1. Let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Let me Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Because the thing is, if you don't have understanding on the Bible, then the Bible will contradict itself. That's right. Does the Bible ever contradict itself? I agree with that statement. I'm, I, I, I'm, so I'm asking you. No, the that's right. The Bible does not contradict itself. Yep. So we just read you a scripture where Christ told the disciples to go and preach to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And you just read a scripture that told that that's right and said into all nations. So hold on, hold on. All right, right. so we're gonna get to it. So, so that would be confusion, right? The Lord said He is not the author of confusion. So how is in one verse He say preaching to the lost sheep of Israel, and then in one verse He say preaching to all nations? Okay, so let's go into that. Okay, but okay, but that's what I'm saying. That would be a contradiction, because I'm not gonna tell you to preach to one nation of people and then go and preach to all the nations. No, and then he said, okay, I'm gonna show you. So let me get back what you got Deuteronomy 28 and 64. So let me ask you a question: Were there Israelites in all nations? When Christ told the disciples go and make disciples of all nations, was it because, or could it? Be because there were Israelites in all nations. Could that be the case? I don't know, but that could be the case. Okay, well, we're going to show you. Read that. Okay, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Oh, wow. And the Lord shall scatter thee. The Lord shall do what? Shall scatter thee. So this is in the book of Deuteronomy. This is one of the curses that the Lord said will happen to the Israelites for breaking his commandments. Yeah. The Lord said he will scatter the Israelites. Read. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Among what? Among all people. The Lord told the Israelites for breaking his commandments, he will scatter them among all people, all nations. Read. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So the Lord said he will scatter the Israelites into all nations. Let me get Tobit 13 and uh, 3. Hold on, let, let me finish this real quick. Okay, yeah. Let me get Tobit 13 and 3. I'll, I'll ask this question. Hold on, real quick. Let's finish this real quick. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right? Okay. Well, we're still trying to answer your question, so read what you got. Come on. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes. To the what? To the, to the 12, 12 tribes. tribes. All the 12 tribes, right? Read. Which are scattered abroad. Which were what? Which are scattered abroad. It was just in the land of Israel. Which are scattered abroad. It was only in Jerusalem. Which are scattered abroad. So this tells you that you had Israelites scattered abroad in all nations. Let me get Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. Read what you got. The book of Tobit chapter 13 verse 3. Bring it out. Confess him before the Gentiles. Do what? Confess him before the Gentiles. Right, read. Confess him before the Gentiles. Read. Ye children of Israel. Ye what? Ye children of Israel. Ye. For he has scattered us among them. Wait, what did the Lord do? He has scattered us among them. The Lord said he has scattered the Israelites among the Gentile nations. Read. Right. There, declare his greatness and extol him before all the living. For he is our Lord, and he is the God, our Father, forever. 
and he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations. Wait a minute, what is, what, what is the Lord going to do to the Whoa. Israelites? And will gather us out of all nations. So the Lord just said he will gather the Israelites out of all nations. So when you read that in Matthew, Christ told the disciples to make disciples of all nations because the Israelites were in all nations, right? So and you see you had to push them up? I did. You still, you yeah, bring still it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask my question? We're going to give you a few more. We're going to let you talk, all right? A few more, a few more. This is the book of Luke 1 and 68. Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. That's possession. The Lord said he is the God of Israel and he has visited and redeemed his people, not all people read. and he has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began verse 71 that we should be saved from our enemies so that the Israelites might be saved from their enemies so how is Christ come back and save all nations when the children of Israel shall be saved from their enemies. Right. Who are their enemies? How can everybody get salvation when the Israelites will receive salvation from their enemies? That don't make sense. Come. So we uh, uh, Acts 2 and 5. Just the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 5. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem. Jews. And they were what? And they were dwelling in Jer at Jerusalem. Jew. Oh, this is during the time of a feast day. So they were at Jerusalem, Jews, we devout men out of every nation. Wait a minute, out of what? Out of every nation. Who were the Jews at? Out of every nation. So the Jews were in every nation. You had Jews that was in Greece, Jews that was in Rome. You had Jews that was all around the world, you know? Get out. Under heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded. He says that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are, are not all these which speak Galileans? Two minutes, sister. It's crazy, man. They don't have time for God until they catch bullets. Well, maybe clarify for me, but what does it mean when... Well, I don't want to... I can keep asking questions. I just want to ask... Well, let me get to the original question. What's the gospel message? And I want to hear it. You guys are out here and I'm asking you a softball. What's the gospel message? That's not for everybody. I, I can hear you saying that. But what is the gospel message? That's the softball I'm asking. Okay. Can I not be ashamed? Well, I'm just asking you a softball question as people are walking by, you know. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, let me get Isaiah 61. So we have a message for you. But the gospel is only for the Israelites. But right. we have, we got a, we got some gospel what's, for you, right? What's the message for the Gentiles? Okay, we, oh, that's a good question. Good. That is a good question. I'm curious. Right? So you got that in Isaiah 61? Uh, All right, let's read that. This is the book of Isaiah 61, starting at the top. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. The Lord have anointed Isaiah to preach the gospel unto the meek. Read. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive. So you claim that you Jewish, right? No, I'm asking what is the gospel? I'm, I understand that. So this is the gospel. So the gospel is to preach for the poor? To preach. You have to, you gotta pay attention. So this is the gospel. Preach the gospel unto the meek. And to the captives. So, is everybody held captive? No. You say you Jewish, right? The Jewish are the richest nation on the, in the face of the earth. They own all the multi-billion dollar corporations. Y'all own Disney, Hollywood. You own all the banks, the movie theaters, right? You own everything. 
So you can't be in captivity. Matter of fact, the Jewish people are the ones that funded the slave ships when we went into slavery. Right, so read them. To proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Who are the number one people that's in prisons? When you look at the statistics, what nation of people fill up the prisons? I want to know what the gospel message is. All right, but like we said, the gospel message is only for one nation of people. Let's find out. Read on. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. That mourn, huh? That mourn in Zion. That mourn in Zion. So who is Zion? Zion is the Israelites. So the message of the gospel is only for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. It just showed you to we're gonna be delivered from our enemies. But hold on, we got a gospel, we got a gospel message for you though. Do, do, but but like I said, this Bible is not speaking to the Jewish people. This Bible is for the Israelites. So look, we got a gospel for you, alright? This is do you want to know your future? Your future, okay. your future is so far from truth that I So, hold on, so you saying the Bible is not true? No, what you're saying is what you're trying to do. Hold on, hold on, it's like you. You said that, so, so the Bible is not true now? That your message is selective, is not true. What you mean it's selective? That it's selective to a certain group of people. The Bible is selective to a That's certain group of people. So if you don't agree with us, you don't agree with the Bible. If Peter was just preaching the Jews, and he says, what are you doing? Why do you refuse him? Clarify to me. Clarify to what? What do you mean? Why was it that Peter was scolded in Peter's letter in Galatians? Why was he scolded that he was just preaching to the Jewish people, not to the Lord? Go bring that scripture out. Okay, okay, help me the scripture. Help me understand. But the thing is, it's not. Let me get, let me get, uh, let me get Psalm 50 and uh, 16. Let me get Psalm 50 and 16. See, this is the thing you got to understand. This is it, really not for you to understand. Okay. Right? This understanding was only, let me get Amos 3 and 7. Let me get Amos 3 and 7. The understanding of this Bible is only for one nation of people. So what do you want me to do? Hold on, we got to get to that. Cause, hold on, because you asking a lot of questions. We got to get one step at a time. You're right, you're right. So like I said, we got to break this down for you. Right? So read that. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret. But he do what? But he revealeth his secret. So he, the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth the secrets of this Bible unto who? Unto his servants, the prophet. Unto everybody. Unto his servants, the prophet. Who are we? Unto his servants, the prophet. Most High God only revealed the secrets of this Bible, the dark sayings, the, the proverbs, unto his chosen people. The children of Israel. No, so read on. Yeah, we are the prophets. The book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. We're going to show you why you don't understand the scriptures and why it's not for you to understand. Read that. But unto the wicked, unto the what? Unto the wicked, is Esau? Unto the wicked, the so called white man, unto the wicked, to the wicked, read. God saith, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? The Lord said, What has thou to do to declare my statutes? This is not this is not for every nation. The wicked have no right trying to preach the words of God. This don't belong to you. Right? That's like me. I'm hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. That's like me going into damn Japan and trying to read all their ancient scrolls. Right? Or their history. They don't they don't got nothing to do with me. Right. So these are the ancient um, records of the Israelites. Right. This is not written to everybody on the earth. Okay. So this is not for you. You literally have our history book in your possession. Right? right? So read that. It's a good one. <laughs> or that thou shouldest take my covenant. Take what? Shouldest take my covenant. So you trying to take our covenant. Oh, you no. trying to include yourself in a covenant that oh, don't belong to you. Read my covenant in thy mouth. Right. So this is not for you at the nations. We're trying to steal the covenant that we the people No, we broke it. We are the Israelites. You're not an Israelite. You just said that you're Jewish. Right. Right? 
So we the Israelites, right? So now you now you said what you said what should you do, right? Yeah, what should I do? What should you do? Are we gonna show you what you should do? Let me get Isaiah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait, give me Isaiah 49 and 23. Right, let's go through it. Right? So we're gonna show you what you should do. Let me get let me get uh Revelation uh 13 and 9. Let me get Revelation 13 and 9. That's a good question, actually. What should you do? Right? <laughs> and we gonna show you when you fit into the Bible, right? So, read what you got. Thirteen and nine. The Book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, verse nine. Bring it out. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So, listen to this. He that leadeth into captivity. He that do what? He that leadeth into captivity. He that do what? He that leadeth into captivity. And you said, he that leadeth. Into captivity. Who led the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity? Right? So look, let's look at this question right here, right? Who did this to the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? I'm asking you a simple question and you're running from the question. Who put the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into slavery? The who? The Arabs. So, so the Arabs was the ones that put us on slave ships and brought us to America. So you don't know, you don't know your history. You don't know. So, so who, who was hanging black people from trees? Who was lynching black people? Was the Arabs doing that? Who put a neck on George Floyd's neck? Did the Arab do that? Who killed Breonna Taylor? Did the Arab do that? Now who killed Trayvon Martin? Did the Arab do that? Right. So we gotta stop the bad games. Black people is the wickedest people upon the face of the earth. We're not finna play games, right? So read what you got. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. So your people led the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity. That's a proven fact. We won't. Shall go into captivity. That's what's gonna happen. You're going to go into captivity. You, along with the whole race of your people, are going into slavery. That's right! They said the Lord does set the Holy Bible. We don't. He that killeth with the sword. Your people kill millions of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. You killed the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Taino Indians, yeah. the Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, the Incas, the Negroes, right? So your people did that. So it says, he that killeth with the sword. Hold on, you gotta be patient, be patient, read. He that killeth with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Must be what? Must be killed with the sword. So you and your people have to go in captivity and be killed with the sword. So you said, what should you do, right? We're well, we gonna show you what you should do. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 23. And the king shall be thy nursing father. So before we get into this, are you truly sorry for what your people did to our people? Are you sorry for the so-called white people putting us in slavery? Lynching our people, right? Raping our women, killing our children. Is that, are you sorry for that? All right, so let's read on. And their queens, thy nursing mothers, they shall bow down to thee. What should we do? They shall bow down to thee. They shall do what? They shall bow down to thee. And what's your, and what's your name? What's your name? Why not? Damn. No. Alright, we're just gonna call you Esau, alright? We're gonna call you Esau. Alright? So the, the Lord said, you shall do what? They shall bow down to you. You ask me, what should you do? The Bible is telling you what you should do. You should bow down to God's chosen people. Where does the gospel fit into that? We're showing you. We, we're showing you. That's where the gospel fits in that. Look at it again. Start on top. They shall bow down to thee. What is he, should he do? They shall bow down to thee. What should he do? They shall bow down to thee. What does he have to do? They shall bow down to thee. Well, hey, come here. Are you, you here? Come here. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. All people need to hear the gospel. They need salvation. They're just going to let them go. All right, let's finish this up. With their face towards the earth. So you ask me a question. What should you do? You should bow down with your face toward the earth. That's what you should do. Right? That's what you should do. 
Well, ask me a question and start acting funny now. We trying to show you what you gotta do. So are you gonna bow down? Why not? You ask me what you should do, right? So why you not? Why you gonna ask me a question and you not gonna do what you ask me? Okay, you were learning. You have to bow down to the children of Israel. No, only one. I only bow to one God. God is holy. And there's no sun down anywhere. But what did the Bible just say? What did the Bible just say? So you're not speaking the words of God. You're speaking out your own vain opinion. So here's what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 17. Hey, you want to get on the bike? Let me ask you right here. Okay. And there. Okay, I know we know you go. Give me Paul verse 28 and 1. Okay. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. The what? The book of the prophet Isaiah. Oh, listen, listen. Hold on, Esau, listen. You wanted the God. Jesus oh, Christ, man. listen, listen, listen. Jesus Christ was reading from the book of Isaiah. That's right. Jesus Christ just read Isaiah chapter 61. That we just brought out, you know? And when he had opened the book, he had the what? And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is what we just read in Isaiah chapter 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon the children of Israel. He, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Do what? To heal, heal the, the brokenhearted. Broken right? So he has sent him to heal the brokenhearted. Read. To preach deliverance to the captive. Do what? To preach deliverance to the captive. So the gospel is to preach deliverance to the captives. Right. When has the so-called white man been in captivity? Right. That's right. When has the so-called Jewish been in slavery? Right. right. See, you don't know what you're talking about. You have yet to be a You can't pull out one precept. Right? You're not pulling no precepts. Let me get Job 6 and 20. Let me get the book of Job chapter 6 verse 20. You talking about false God. We go precept upon precept. You're not preach. You haven't pulled out one precept. Where are your scriptures? Where's your where's your wisdom? Where's your The book of Job, chapter 6, verse 20. They were confounded. Who is this damn devil? They were confounded. Who is this? They were confounded. You are confounded. You do not know the Bible. The gospel is only for the tribes of the children of Israel. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The, the rule of the Bible is not dealing with you so called white people. That's right. The so called white man will go into slavery for what he did to all people. That's right. right? So in these last days, so the service of God is going to run down through other nations and put chains on your neck. Right. And you're going to be working from sunup to sundown. Right. right? And we're going to tie your ass up and whip your damn back. The same way you did our people. Yeah. Read that. Where you going, he said? We are going, hey, don't no run for us. Who is going for us? We are going, going, going for us. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. The wicked flee. The wicked flee. The wicked flee. The wicked flee. He said he was Jewish. The wicked flee. He said he got chosen people. The wicked flee. The gospel for everybody. The wicked flee. The he said the wicked flee. These wicked ass bastards don't know the Bible. That's right. He want to come up here and preach his own feelings, preach his own emotions. And he can't pull out one piece of right. right? Right? We don't want to hear a damn thing that come out the so-called white man mouth. That's right. right. The Bible is not for you damn devils. Right? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures is not for you damn losers. Right? right? I'm